Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today, ang first part of lesson is double and half angle identity. So, uh, isa sa mga basic uh, fundamental identity. So, ang dahil lang siya ng sa aming difference, hindi din natin siya present last time kasi hindi, wala rin siya shortcut para dun sa, uh, wala siya shortcut na pwedeng gamitan nung uh, hexagonal region. So, separate natin siya ang kailangan ka po sabihin. So, ano nga yung mga formula din sa double and half angle identity? So, ito yun. Formula for double angle identity. Ibig sabihin, the double angle, pinapress lang natin yung given angle. Nagka-press lang tayo dun sa given angle for double angle identity. And then, for the half angle identity, yung uh, a given angle divided by 2. So, half yung given angle. So, ito naman, eh, kasi gaya lang din ng sa aking different identity, uh, kung yung mga bago lang dito sa manunod na sa channel ko, meron akong first, uh, video about doon sa summing difference. Kagaya lang rin siya, no, nakapot siya, wala dun sa, um, dun sa basic natin na um, sa unit circle, yung given angle, yung basic angles na nandoon, ay wala yung given angle, pwede natin gamitin itong double and half angle identity. Kung nagsasatisfy siya dun sa given uh, identity. So, yung sabi, pwede rin natin gamitin yun. So, ngayon, since itong video na to is nakalaan for double and half angle identity, so, lahat ng gagamitin natin yung main counter natin dito na example ay isasolve natin using double and half angle identity. Okay? Even though, pwede pa rin siyang gamitin ng different identities, so, hindi, hindi natin may papakita. May papakita natin yung paano gamitin itong double and half angle identity na to. So, proceed na tayo. So, example number one. Without the use of calculator, determine the value of sine 420 degrees. So, same lang din ang sinabi ko kanina. Pwede natin gamitin yun ng different identities bukod dun sa, uh, sa bukod dun sa double and half angle identity. Pero since dun, dun tayo nakapokus sa discussion na yun, so, yun lang din yung, uh, yun yung gagamitin natin for today. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is iisip tayo ano yung doon sa dalawa. Yung double angle ba o yung half angle. Okay. Ngayon, kung, kung gusto mo mag-decide daw kung alin ang mas better nung gamitin, isipin nyo lagi na ito yung answer. Okay. At yung ikibalik. Okay. So yung sabi kung in-apply ko si double angle, Kapag dinobol natin yung given angle, ang kakalabasan is 420. Or kung ginamit yung half angle, kung yung given angle dinibide ko sa to, ang magiging result is 420. Okay, laging magiging result yan. Kung sine, let's say sine 2 theta, that is equivalent sa sine is equal to 420. Ibig sabihin, iisip tayo ng given angle na kapag minutiply natin sa 2, that will result 420. Okay? Ibig sabihin, lagi ito result. Okay? Pwede rin namang sine theta over 2. That is equal to sine 420. So, ngayon pipili tayo, alin dyan yung pwede natin gamitin. Ito pang isang formula na to, or ito pang isang formula na to. For double angle, or for the half angle identity. Okay? So, kung ito ang gagamitin natin, so theta would be, Kung ito ang gamitin natin, ang theta natin is sine 2 times 210. Which is equivalent sa sine 420. Uh, pag ito naman ang ginamit natin, angle natin is sine, this is 840 divided by 2, that is sine 420. Uh, ngayon, di-decide tayo. Meron ba tayong equivalent angle dun sa unit circle ng 840? So, by consideration, ang meron lang tayo, alin dun sa dalawa, yung 210 o yung 840. So, take note, ang pwede natin, natin kunin yung in between 0 to 360 kasi yun lang yung meron tayong exact values. Tama? So, greater than that, hindi natin pwede gamitin. Okay? Although meron yung exact value, in the Iti trim down mo yan using coterminal angles, pero again, ang lesson natin is double and half angles. So, 
Ha-apply lang natin yung, yung dalawang computations na yun. Doon lang tayo mag-limit. Alam din sa dalawang bagimitin natin. Since, 210 ang nag-satisfy there po, hindi ito ang bagimitin natin. Ito yung bagimitin natin formula. Okay? Regis na yung isa. Ito ang bagimitin natin formula. Okay? Which is, theta is 210. So, for sine, sine 2 times 210. Which is equivalent to sine of 420, and also equivalent to sa 2 times sine 210 times cosine 210. Okay? So you say, ah, since we don't have a value for 420, but we have a value for exact value for 210, so we need to find the values of that. Apply lang natin yung computations na meron tayo. So, alamin natin ano yung value at sine 210. So, that is 2. Ito ang 2. Times 2 half. Sine 210 is negative 1 half. And cosine 210 is also negative square root of 3 over 2. Same negative kasi nasa quadrant. Yung 210 nasa quadrant. 3, naka both negative yung coordinates natin doon at sine and cosine. So, that is negative times negative, that will become positive 2 times now. 1, that is 2 times square root of 3, that is 2 square root of 3 all over 2. Okay? Ipin natin ha, 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2 times negative square root of 3, that is positive 2 square root of 3 all over 2 times 2, naka, this is 2 times 2. So that is 2 square root of 3 all over 4, which is lowest term natin, that is cancel to, cancel din nandito, kung nalang matara, that is square root of 3 over 2. So therefore, sine 420 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Okay? So ganun lang siya kadalim. Uh, mag-solve using um, double angle identity which is yung uh, based dun sa uh, analysis natin kanina uh, double angle identity will be will satisfy the uh, computations so dun sa ayon sa magbibili mas mapadali sa computation natin so proceed tayo dun sa example number 2 so without the use of uh, using calculator um, determine the value of cosine to Okay, which is yung pinanood nyo sa mga difference identity, yung mga nakapanood nyo, di ba nag-solve din tayo about 15 degrees, that is 45 minus 13. So, di isa-in lang rin dito, pwede natin gamitin yun. Pero since sa double angle and half angle identity ang pinag-usapan natin, dumiikot tayo. So, pipili tayo ang lindod. Na ang mag-result is cosine 15. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, kung gagamitin nyo ay double angle identity, let's say, ang ginamit ko dyan is double angle. Okay, cosine 2 theta is equal to cosine 15. Iisip tayo ng given angle na kapag minultiply natin sa 2 is 15, which is, ang makukuha natin doon, that is 7.5. Na cosine 2 theta times 7.5, that is cosine 15. 15, which is cosine uh, 7.5 uh, degrees is wala tayong hindi hanggan na para doon at wala tayong exact value para doon meron tayo, mula 0, ang kasunod na nun 30 degrees, so x na kagad to tama, hindi na natin pwede gamitin yung x na yan so pwede natin gamitin siguro is yung cosine theta over 2, which is equal to cosine 15 which is Anong ibig na na pwede natin gamitin? Once dinivide natin sa 2, magiging 15. That is 30 divided by 2, that is plus 15. So, ibig sabihin, for this example, ang gagamitin natin is the half angle identity for cosine, which is the square root of 1 plus cosine theta all over 2, which is, that is cosine, 30 over 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus cosine 30 all over 2. And 
and that is square root of 1 plus uh, cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2 all over 2 okay, so saan ko na makukuha ito kung bakit yung sinasabi yung exact values na yan meron tayong dito dyan, panorin nyo na lang kung paano natin makukuha yun okay, next uh, so combine natin itong nasa numerator natin, so this is may denominator tayo dun na 1, tama, since di tayo pwede mag-combine ng different denominator, so gawin natin pareha sa denominator nila na so that is 2 over 2, 2 d over 2, that is 1, tama, plus square root of 3. Bakit ko ginawang 2? Kasi 2 yung denominator din sa baba. So para parehas lang sila. Okay? Um, under is a uh, LCD. So 2 plus square root of 3, that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3, all over 2, all over 2. Ha? So, complex fraction, i-divide natin ito, denominator na itong 2 na ito, is 1. So, kapag nag-divide tayo ng fraction, di ba, we uh, get the reciprocal of the denominator, then multiplication yung process natin. So, that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3, all over 2, times, times, reciprocal na itong 2 over 1 na yan, that is 1 half. Tama? So, that is 2 plus square root of 3 times 1, that is 2 plus square root of 3, all over 4, uh, 2 times 2, that is 4. Square root natin yung sa taas, that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3, all over square root of 4, na, which is, that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So, it's not that, nasa loob yung square root of 3 all over 2. Okay? Therefore, at cosine, since wala tayong gamit ng calculator at hindi na natin kaya yung simplify yan, yan yung final answer natin, unless kaya yung mag-compute na without the use of calculator, kunin natin, kunin yung decimal, change nila yun. Pero since exact value naman ang kinukuha natin, yun yung exact value natin. 2 plus 0 root of 3 all over 2. And that is the answer. Okay? So at cosine 15, that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3 all over 2. Okay? So that is the, for example, number 2. Okay, okay, so sindan nyo siya. Kasi tayo dun sa, next natin determine the exact value of tangent theta over 2. If cosine theta is equal to 2 over 5, and theta is in the fourth quadrant. So, check natin in the fourth quadrant daw yung theta natin. So, check natin ano yung pwede natin values dun. So, that is ano yung formula na pwede natin gamitin. So, meron tayong formula for half angle since half angle ito at tangent, meron tayong tatlong formula na pwede pagpilihan. Okay? So, pwede natin consider ito Pwede nyo ito at pwede nyo ito. Alam mo nyo sa katlo. Ngayon ang pangkipin na natin. Pansin ninyo, kung ang kipin natin is cosine, so dapat, ang kipinitin natin formula dyan, yung may presence lang ng cosine. Which is, check lahat sila may presence ng cosine. Ngayon, ano pa meron tayong given? Meron pa tayong given ng sine? So, based on sa given problem, wala tayong given ng sine. Which is, kung ito na gamitin natin sa yung formula, May sign theta dito, pero wala tayong bibig ng sign, so in serve, may hirapan tayo mag-sort dito. The same with this, wala rin tayong bibig ng sign, so in serve, ang pwede lang natin gamitin, itong formula na to. Kasi ito lang yung merong bibig na, uh, ito yung bibig, uh, walang bibig na, uh, hindi kailangan ng bibig ng sign, cosine na ang kailangan. Okay? Proceed tayo, so hindi na ang gagamitin yung dalawang formula na yan, wait na natin yan. Proceed tayo sa computation. So, at tangent 2 theta, that is given sa 1. Minus cosine theta, which is 2 over 5. All over 1. Plus cosine theta, that is 2 over 5. Okay? So, 1 pa rin ito, whole number. 
That is okay na lang natin yung nandun sa taas. That is uh, denominator na ito. That is 5 over 5. 5 over 5, that is 1. Minus 2 over 5. Okay, ginagawa kong ganyan kasi hindi tayo pwede mag-combine na magkaiba ang denominator. Okay, I hope nasusundan nyo ako dun. 5 over 5 din dito. Plus 2 over 5. Since para parehas na sila ng denominator, so combine na natin yung denominators nila. Ay, yung, yung fractions na yan. So, uh, combine the numerator, then copy the denominator. 5 minus 2, that is 3 over 5. All over 5 plus 2, that is 7 over 5 na. So, complex fraction 3 tayo, dikunin natin yung reciprocal na ito, and then multiply din sa numerator. So, that is 3 over 5 times 5 over 7, which is, this cancel, cancel ang matira sa ato, and is, square root of 3 over 7, ana. So that is square root of 3 over 7, uh, square root of 7. So to rationalize, multiply natin by square root of 7, and square root of 7. So that is square root of 21 over 7. Okay? So which is, ito yung at tangent to theta. Ngayon ang sinasabi dito, theta is in the, in the fourth quadrant. For in, in the fourth quadrant, ang tetas natin doon or angle natin doon is from 270 to 360. Ama? Yan ang tita natin doon at angle at quadrant number 4. So, so at 4 quadrant, ama? which is ang meron tayo dito is theta divided by 2. So therefore, this is at theta divided by 2. So divide natin ito by 2, this is 135. This is 180. So in between 135 to 180, which is under quadrant 2. Ha? Under quadrant 2, okay? under quadrant 2, ang order first natin doon is negative ang x at positive ang y. Okay? So nasa quadrant 2 tayo. Which is tangent tangent represent the y over the x. Ama? Y over the x, the sine over the cosine. Ama? Which is sine is y and cosine is x. Ama? Wherein, that is positive number divided by negative number give us a result of negative. Ama? So, since negative yung answer natin dito, therefore, this is tangent theta over 2 is equivalent to negative 21 over 7. Okay? So, yun yung answer natin. Okay? So, yung isa rin kaya natin in-inflip to, inalam natin ano ba yung magiging sign niya, magiging positive kaya talaga siya or meron siya magiging negative. Kasi nga di ba pag kapanerform natin yung square root niya, give us two answers, is either positive or negative. So, ngayon at least, alam natin na confident tayo na ang answer natin doon yung negative answer, which is negative 21 over 7. So, a tangent theta over 2 is negative 21 over 7. So, that is our discussion. Uh, may video presentation about double and half angle identity. So, Thank you sa panonood. Thank you sa support niyo sa sa aking YouTube channel. So, Tuloy-tuloy lang uh, sa panonood. At uh, I hope natutulungan ko kayo sa mga difficulties niyo in mathematics, especially in pre-calculus, trigonometry. Okay. So, 